Hello everyone! Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to a brand new day for the TCG World 2018. If you're watching live with me on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I did not forget to turn on the microphone, which already makes it a pretty good day, I would say. <laughs> and um, if you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to leave a like. It I mean, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. So. So, 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 um, <laughs> finally, yeah, first time the mic's not muted in a while, definitely. Um, hello to everyone's, to everyone who's tuning in, um, sorry it took me a while to start, um, I was just finishing up some stuff, but thank you guys so much for being here. So, yes, as you can see, um, we are back with yet another Greninja deck and yes Andrew there is a fan that's turned on right now but it's so hot in here that I hope you guys will forgive me but I can't turn it off otherwise I would literally melt in here and Evil Salad thanks so much for the host very kind of you um, so yeah hope the hope the fan noise is not too bad um, I can't turn it down one level I guess so give me one second Okay, it should be um, it should be quieter now because it's less powerful. But I would literally melt um, with the current heat that's happening or taking place in Mexico City. Um, so yeah, some questions or comments from the chat. Uh, Straight Grand Ninja, indeed. This is Jimmy Woods list uh, from the Tours special event in France. Um, indeed. Um, Kevin, yo también pensé que ya no haría más mazos de Green Ninja, pero este tuvo un buen resultado en torneo, entonces por eso. Uh, Mega Tableman Melting Emote, <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. Um, this is fine, this is fine. Um, this level is fine. Uh, like, I, I love being cold, so I had at the maximum level, but I can uh, do it this way. Um, y cuando en español, Human Sword, no lo sé. Eh, es que no es negocio <risa> hacer en español, esa es la verdad eh, no es buen negocio para mí que vivo de esto eh, pagar la renta y todo lo demás no es negocio eh, hacer videos en español, <risa> es así de sencillo entonces, no lo sé eh, uh, the air, it's not air conditioning uh, it's just a fan but it's on, it's on, it's just it's good that if you guys can't hear it anymore um, we are good there. So, um, we are featuring the Greninja GX deck that um, did well, was first seed going into top 8 in the special events in Tours France. Um, the card that you can't see that's under here is actually Super Scoop Up, so we'll be having a lot of fun flipping coins and raging when we get tails today. So, we have, uh, this is the exact system. The exact 60, yes, Sinister James. Um, we have four of the 70, H 70 HP Froggy, the better Froggy, because um, it's just a tiny little bit harder to one KO by Buzzle. Um, the attack's not too relevant, however, we do have Frogadier, 80 HP, Ability Gale Shuriken when you evolve. Um, Frogadier from Froggy, you place um, two damage counters to one of your po opponent's Pokemon. In any way you like, and then we have Triple Greninja GX, 230 HP, Ability Shuriken Flurry, which when you evolve into Greninja GX, you get to place three damage counters, um, three damage counters onto any of your opponent's Pokemon. Now the attacks, the attack hate slash 110 lets you shuffle Greninja back into the deck, which is a really good deal. Rafa, thank you so much for starting off us, starting us off with the bits. Thank you so so much, always coming through really really appreciate it um so yeah thank you so so much um yeah hey slash a pretty uh, a pretty skill based attack i would say because you sometimes have to evaluate when it's a good time to reshuffle uh Greninja gx when it isn't so and the damage is pretty decent i would say um especially when combined with uh the abilities um, it's a very good amount. And then Shadow Hunter GX allows you to hunt on the bench. Um, you get to deal 130 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So 
I'm sure that will be very useful to pick off a big threat or to finish off a game, potentially. Um, grass weakness, Syntec, welcome. Uh, grass weakness, grass weakness, um, which is relevant-ish since Colossopod is still a thing. However, um, it's not the most popular deck by any means. Um, hello, Lucas. Thanks so much for being here. And then we have two Latios. Um, Latios is apparently the hottest partner for Greninja so far. Um, I do agree that Latios is a much better partner than Kalashian or than Kalisabud and maybe even Zorark, although I'm not too sure. Um, but Breakthrough not only being Psychic Typing, which allows you to pick off in case with weakness, um, deals 3 damage to the bench. So you can pick off some stuff with Latios or prepare, like set up damage counters for Greninja GX to follow up with their abilities and their attacks. Um, two Leilith as well for setup. Very straightforward line of Pokemon. Um, we have four Ultra Ball and two Bridget to help in setting us up, along with the single Timer Ball. Um, supporters wise, we have the four N, three Kuzma, three uh, Cynthia, and three Sycamore. Um, triple Echo Patch, Triple Choice Band, Triple Super Scoop Up, so lots of uh, copies of three ups. Um, two. Um, two field blowers and then two float stones and then finally we have four DCs, six water energies and two splash and Pokemon TCG Center. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the one donation. That's very very kind of you. Um, thank you so so much. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know, Pokemon TCG Center is uh, also present on YouTube. So I would definitely recommend you guys um, check out his channel. Um, he does a lot of deck profiles um, of all the really good decks, so um, really, really cool to see him around here as well. Um, so yeah, um, why why Latios over Coco? Um, because Latios hits for weakness on the psychic type attackers that we're seeing right now, so it hits. Uh, Jedi, thank you so much for the 97 bits. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, no Coco because Psychic Typing is really good. You can hit for 120 uh, onto a Puzzle or a Necrozma. You can pick off Inke, stuff like that. Um, my picks for Roanoke. I'm not going to Roanoke, but I think it's going to be all about Malamar, Puzzle and Zorark. Um, in expanded and I think tomorrow I will probably do an expanded stream uh, for you guys um, for all, all those who are uh, going to run oak um, what else uh, <laughs> Center. Um, I haven't seen your Greninja build but this one's supposedly pretty good and so yeah this is the list so let's jump into the game into a game and then we'll um, we'll keep chatting so next deck we are going to feature is actually Malmar Necrozma the psychic version which as you guys know um, Sam Chen won the Mexico City special event with it um, and he's actually here and he'll probably jump in um, when we start with that deck so you guys will get to ask him all the questions that you want um, and yeah no problem big scrap Ooh, what a hand <laughs> Sam, you have to take a look at this hand. You have to take... Okay, so... <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you what add a rescue stretcher? Uh, no, I did not add a rescue stretcher. Are you going so first or second? I am going first. So... I you think I'm to gonna pass, yeah. yeah. If I don't pass, we are in trouble. And... Yeah. Oh boy. Well, good luck. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah. So Sam's working right now, so he'll he'll pop into a stream in a little bit, and yeah, this is definitely not a great hand. And it's not like my opponent's now encouraged to end us because he knows we didn't do anything at all here. Um, <laughs> here we have another guest appearance. <laughs> So all the all the stars joining on on the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, and yet another. This is the the star of the house. 
This is the start of the house. <laughs> okay, so pretty solid start here for my opponent. Uh, no Bridget, however, we did see a Cynthia. Ultra Necrozma, um, Dawn Wings. I should take notes of the deck. So we're playing against Ultra Malamar. Ultra Necrozma Malamar. I call the decks Ultra Malamar and just Malamar. That way I can differentiate when we're speaking about. Oh, I top decked my fourth frog in here. Awesome. Awesome. Sam is holding back his giggles. Uh, I mean, should I just Sycamore here? I yes. just play with one Greninja? Because if I pick up the Inkei, we're not in a terrible position if I get a DC, because my opponent's setup is so weak. Uh, we don't have any rescue stretchers. The winning list didn't have any. So, yeah, we did with <laughs> the DC. Um, like, there's literally. No point in setting up another Froki here. <laughs> so bad. This is actually so bad. Okay, I think we just pass. And we'll see what happens. Oh gosh, okay. Um, yeah, I have no recovery, but I don't know. I mean, I could have waited one more turn, I guess. Um, <laughs> little rock rough, yeah. <laughs> little rock rough, and yeah. Sam Chen is using a tank top. He's showing off all his muscles. <laughs> okay, so we see yet another Ultra Cross Man getting benched. Yeah, one rescue stretcher. We definitely need one rescue stretcher here. And yeah, Sam will be back when we feature the psychic deck. He'll be back then. Um, we see a second professor's letter, interestingly enough. Hello, Lonely. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. We see another Sycamore by my opponent. There's the Malamar. He did spread the energy, so... Both of our, Poke both of our Pokemon are actually safe. And... The white snake. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so so much. Always appreciate it. Hello, Amphi. Hello, Lucatolica. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for joining. You guys missed our epic discard of Sycamore, of three Frogadier and one Grinch GX in a deck that plays no rescue stretcher. So we are in a little bit of trouble today. Um, we're gonna see a floatstone, we're gonna see an invasion, so we didn't even get a chance to pick up the NK, uh, which might have made this decent. Now, my opponent is gonna photon geyser and is actually not going to take a knockout on the Latios, he's only gonna deal 100. So, okay, interesting decision by my opponent. Um, okay, so I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and Place the 30 damage on the Ultra, 50, and then I hit for 30 more. Yeah, I really wish I could put it on the NK to pick it up, but if I do that, oh no, yeah, 140 plus 50, yeah, okay, so I'll put it on the NK, and then I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra now, discarding the Bridget and the N. Um, I'll, I'll, I need to bring another Latios, these are my only attackers in the deck right now. Um, I'm gonna save the choice hands for the bench Latios, I just, I really, one DC is enough. One DC is probably enough here. Um, okay, there's a DC, so we're getting somewhere potentially. Gonna break through, pick up the NK, that's decent. But yeah, now our damage output is literally 140. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trojima. I mean, our turn one discard with Sycamore was three Frogadiers and one Greninja GX. So, list not working really well for us either. Um, is Sam Chen's deck that won the Mexico City Special Event any good? Yeah, it is pretty good. Um, it's a more straightforward version of Malamar. Um, which is always good. Um, 
I mean, I'm sure the list can be adapted and whatnot. Um, Squeaks, Sean, <laughs> you were playing the deck last night and you loved it. I mean, it sounds really fun, and this is what Sam played at the cup the day after the special event. Uh, but no recovery is really bad. This was our turn one Sycamore. We got rid of three Forgetters and one Greninja. So we're essentially playing a one Greninja GX deck. <laughs> uh, we see an Ultra Ball discarding the Beast Energy. We're going to see an Orange Guru. We have yet to see a Lele. And I don't know why you wouldn't get a Lele here unless the last card is to Sycamore. It would be really fun if my opponent whiffed a Psychic Energy here. It would generally be really funny okay there's a psychic he's gonna instruct for three yeah we don't really need our rescue stretcher in this i would say <laughs> at the very least um so yeah that's probably what we're gonna try maybe after this game even okay so we see an end that's fine Our hand gets refreshed. CMB, hello, thanks so much for being here. Um, this Ultra Necrozma is gonna be a big issue. Very big issue. Yeah, like once we're down this Greninja, we just, we won't be able to essentially knock anything out. If I had a Guzma here, maybe I would be in an okay position. Um, I mean, my opponent needs just one Psychic Energy from hand to knock out my Greninja GX, so I might have to reshuffle the Greninja. Um, I do get a Froki, but that's all I get, unfortunately. Um, removing the tools is good. Uh, especially the float stone. The choice band, not that big a deal. Oh, you know what? I could GX knock out the Malamar. That would definitely buy me a turn. If I GX knock out his only Malamar, then he can't knock out my Greninja GX. So that's definitely what I need to do here. So I'm gonna Shadowy Hunter the Malamar. And our hand really, really sucks, but there's not much I can do about that. And then maybe I can spread more with Latios. Um, if I had a Kuzma, that would be really nice because then I could pick off whatever Inke my opponent decides to bench. Um, immediately has the Float Stone. Uh, technically, Splash Energy is recovery. Yeah, uh, I guess I do have the Splash attached. Uh, but it's not like I even have a Frogadier, you know? To, so that I can immediately play the Greninja GX again. That's the biggest issue here. Um... Yeah, I feel like Grenier GX with Octillery and Brooklet Heal would work slightly better. Deadly B, <laughs> thank you so much for the host. Very kind of you. Uh, okay, see an Ultra Ball. We see an Ultra Ball. There's the Inke. Yeah, prevent 7 prize game as well. Although, we might have to pick up more in case here. Um, but preventing that knockout was pretty key, I would say. Um, I might just have to retreat, though. Ooh, we see a Kuzma. So my opponent will actually try to get a prize here. But now we can knock out this Ultra Necrozma. And if he doesn't attach an energy, then our Greninja will yet again be safe so this is probably the best play we could have seen by my opponent yeah i'll take that we might actually win this game <laughs> we might actually win this game despite the discards if i get guzma okay uh field blower is also pretty good hello pokemon cast um i mean this is the first game that i'm trying this deck out um it seems a little bit clunky, um, but it might be the best way to run Greninja. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Hiruma Greninja again, yes, because um, it did well uh, this weekend. So that's why I'm using it. This is a different Greninja deck as well. Okay, so now I take this guy down. Um, he no longer has B-String either, so we generally might have a chance here. We generally, generally might have a chance. Um, 
So yeah, perfect numbers as well. Uh, I would not like to return Greninja for now. Perfect numbers. We got a TC, we got a Cynthia. Both pretty good cards. Um, now that Puzzle got fourth at a tour, are you going to play it? Uh, oh, it full Puzzle. Um, I won't be playing it today. I didn't prepare the deck for today. I didn't realize uh, pure Puzzle did well. Um, but I can try it out. Um, tomorrow, or Wednesday probably. Tomorrow will most likely be an expanded stream. Okay, why are there no Cocos in this deck? Latios is better because there are so many Psychic Week type things now. Um, it hits... It's not... Like, Coco is weak to Puzzle, and uh, the 20 spread is really weak against Puzzle. Whereas Latios uh, hits in case for weakness, hits uh, the regular Necrozma for weakness, it hits Puzzle for weakness, so that's the reason why. This deck does really well against Malamar. I mean, it's looking good with just one Greninja. It's definitely looking good with just one Greninja. I don't know why you would use Super Art in this deck though. Stretcher seems strictly better. Because you're recovering energy, so all you need is to recover Pokemon. Uh, Coco is only really good versus Zoropod. I mean, you would definitely lose against Zoropod anyway, so... Is my opponent actually just gonna deal 100 damage? I mean, that's completely fine. That is actually completely fine by me. Um, now we're gonna hit it for 140. We're gonna deal 140 damage to Ultron and Krozma. No, like, if you're, if you're consistently losing metal energies... Um, like, at most you should only be attacking once or twice with Ultra and Crossma if you play the game right. You'll never be in a position where you need to recover metal energies. Like, games never go that long um, for you to need to recover metal metal energies. But, and that, that might be a reason why the, uh, the regular Necrozma might simply be better, because it doesn't have this uh, metal energy issue. Um... So it's not a, like, the way the deck plays out, you should never be trying to recover metal energy. So that's not enough justification to play Super Odd. Uh, okay, so I'm going to leave the Latios ready, because I'm going to hit for 140 and I'm going to shuffle the Greninja. And then all I'll need to do is find a Kuzma, which I now have. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll definitely thin this. I will also thin this, I guess. I'll keep this in my hand. And then I'm gonna hit for Haste Slash. And then if my opponent doesn't have Akuzma to knock out this... Um, to knock out this Latios, we actually will win this game. So I'm gonna promote this Froki. Um, so if I lose the Latios, I still have the Froki with... I still have the energy in play. Um... Ooh, you know what? I should have attached the choice band to this Froki. Oh. Well, if I lose this Froki, that's fine. Because then I can Aqua Patch, attach, and then I can Wave Splash for the win. <laughs> I can actually Wave Splash for the win. Okay. So, <laughs> we're gonna be a Mysterious Treasure for Lele for Guzma, I would imagine. Because he did discard the Sycamore. Uh, one Lele is down. If the other is priced for any reason, like for some reason, then. We have the win here. Okay, my opponent grabs an Ultron Necrozma. Hello, Type Moon. Thank you so much for the cheers. Thank you so, so much. Um, we see the Ultra. It's struck for two. Looks like we're going to win this one. Despite that turn one discard, it looks like we're going to win this game. Thanks to Shadowy Hunter GX. And yeah, Type Moon, I'm giving another, uh, Granite GX another go because it did well this weekend. Um, and this is a version that I hadn't showcased. And yeah, Jedi, you just got bumped out of uh, third place by four bits. Or three bits, rather. And there's a Sycamore, so we have won this game. Unless my opponent field lowers here. So maybe I should have kept the choice pen. Yeah, this deck, it, it plays, it's a cool deck to play for sure. It's a cool deck to play for sure. Two field lords in the discard pile, so we have one here. Uh, now I wish I could um, 
I could waste Flash to knock out uh, for some cool points. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, last Saturday, I played Zora Garbodor. Uh, because I feel like that's the best version to tackle a Malamar field metagame. Although, you have a, an atrocious puzzle matchup despite having Garbodor. Because there's, it's very difficult to deal with... Um, very difficult to deal with Lycan Rock. Um, soy de la Ciudad de México, the water boy. Um, so yeah, Pokemon Cast, this deck looks really, really cool for sure. This deck looks really, really cool. And yeah, we lose the Froki. So now all we need to do is Lele Kuzma. Knockout. I really wish I had kept. I should have promoted this guy. If I promote that guy, I could have actually waters wave splashed for the win. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny to see. Um, and then we hit for 60 thanks to a choice band. We knock out the ultra and we win our first game. I mean, if this deck can win with one Greninja, imagine what it can do with multiple Greninja GXs out at once. Oh, and I'm doing this wrong. Okay. Okay, so let's jump into the next game. And guys, um, as I told you, on Thursday we are having my pre-birthday stream. Um, uh, my birthday is on Friday, but I'm flying to Cancun on Friday, so I will be having a birthday stream on Thursday. So um, I can't cancel coaching that day, so it'll be early as usual. But I hope you guys will will join in on the fun. Um, have I been liking the Latios? That was the first game. Um, that was the first game that I've played with a list, um, but I think it like. Coco potentially does more damage type moon. However, uh, there's a lot of psychic weak stuff out there right now. So that's the reason why Latios is good. It's because of all the psychic weak stuff. You pick up Finkays, you can deal 120 uh, to Buzzwolves and regular Necrozmas. You can one to kill Mew EXs, you deal extra damage to Mewtwo. So all of that is really good. And then you go ahead and top deck Bridget. And then this is looking pretty nice. Honestly, this is looking pretty nice. Now, the placement of the DC is interesting here. I think I'll do it on the Latios. And then, since I'm not doing anything else, I'll keep the Floatstone and the Choice Band in hand. Um, yeah, birthday stream on Thursday. And then, probably a follow-up birthday stream on the Tuesday after I'm back from Cancun. Um, how do I feel about the Super Scoop Ups? I mean, they make sense in this, in this game. We didn't get to play any of the previous game, but the previous game was really weird. Um, and sorry, Type Moon, but um, if you go to Limitless TCG, you can find the, the list there. That's where I got it from. And props to Jimmy Boots. Um, Tama Drummer, hello. All good. All good here. We're just enjoying some Greninja action. And thank you so much for the bits, Tama Drummer. Thank you so much. I love you guys tied for second place. Um, I love you guys tied for second place. Um, in second and third, I guess, with 100 bits. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Limitless does have lists. It doesn't have all of them, but it does have the lists. Um, LimitlessTCG.com, go to tournaments, and there's the Mexico City special event. Ah, there's a, there's an Enhance Hammer. Uh, so it's a Greninja GX versus Greninja match now. I hadn't realized we were up against Greninja. So, I mean, I feel like we might be favored a little bit. We can return our Pokemon here. Okay, so I topped like another DC. That's great. Oh no, 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 I misclicked. I meant to... Ugh, that was silly. I meant to attach the choice, the Flowstone to the Froakie and then the Choice Band to the Latios. Oh, that was so dumb. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Oops. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. Not much I can do about this. I want to keep the Aqua Patch for now. I want to keep the Aqua Patch. And Demon Drake, thank you so much for the follow. Um... Ugh. <sighs> 
<laughs> yeah, once the White Nake and Rafa and uh, Zorua get the bit war going, they are, they are definitely the bosses for sure. Oh gosh. <sighs> that was so silly. I could have started spreading damage already. That was such a silly misclick. That was such a silly misclick. I was thinking so far ahead, like Floatstone active, Choice Band. No, I was thinking Choice Band, Latios, Floatstone, Froki. And so Floatstone was in my mind, so I went ahead and did the Floatstone on the Latios. Ugh, my brain is gold by faster than my hand. <laughs> so, oh well. Uh, how long was the drive to the SPE? The drive was. It was between 30 and 40 minutes away. So, not too bad. Um. And yeah, yeah, Alexis. Um, <coughs> I think Octillery and uh, Brooklet Hill makes more sense than than Lele and Bridget in this deck. I mean, you would still have Lele, but I would really like to see Brooklet Hill and Octillery and whatnot um, over the quirky stuff like Super Scoop Ups. Um, <laughs> Jedi, thank you so much. Um, it's okay. Every little bit, literally bit, every little bit helps, guys. Um, am I going to Sheffield? No. Traveling to Europe is really expensive. Really, really expensive. So I can't justify doing that for just a regional. Oh, uh, okay. So we keep not finding Frogadiers. Um, I really want to start attacking, though. So I'm going to go ahead and attach a water here. And I'm gonna Lele for a Cynthia because I don't want to sick him away this hand. Basically because of the TC and the Greninja GX as well, but mostly the TC. Uh, why people put Latios in the deck? Because of weakness, guys. There's a lot of things that are weak to Psychic uh, right now, so that's really good. Right? That's really, really good. Um, I would already have Knockout on this Frogat here, possibly. Um, yeah, I definitely want to attack with Latios though. And the 20 damage will go to where? The active? Or the... No, I'm, it's going to go to the Frogadier because if my opponent doesn't get double Greninja, then... Ooh. I can super scoop up this guy back up. Okay. We save the energy and we also get another 20 damage. Which means we can actually knock out the frog at here now, which is really good. I'm gonna save this super scoop up though for now. It was just important to hit the 20 there. Because now we get a knockout with breakthrough on the bench frog at here. Uh, so yeah, Latios is good because of in case, because of puzzle, because of baby puzzle, because of um, regular Necrozma, all of that. And I should probably take my price. <laughs> yeah, it's frog versus frogs. <laughs> It is frogs versus frogs. Um, yeah, so the list definitely feels and looks clunky, but the abilities are definitely pretty nice. And Lydos is a really good partner as well. Like, Coco would have been strictly worse in this situation. So, yeah, guys, um, for the birthday stream, I was thinking of doing uh, viewer battles. I was thinking of doing viewer battles for the stream. Type Moon, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. Very, very kind. Um, and yeah, Tama Drummer just. Um, I mean, Sam's right here, so you could ask him uh, what he's on. Uh, he'll be on when we play the Malamar deck, so you can ask him then. Yeah, get his actual perspective. And yeah, Type Moon, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. Um, okay, <laughs> the war has started indeed for first place. Um, okay, yeah, now we lose abilities forever, but there's also only one Greninja that we have to deal with. Um, so that's pretty okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Field Lord the Brooklet heal just to thin. I really don't think I want to end my opponent here though. Um, like, I, I'm in no big need of getting a Greninja GX. So I'm just going to break through and I'm going to target down the Starmie. Getting another prize on the Froakie would be nice, though. To prevent multiple Greninja GXs. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pressure the Froakie. I'm gonna pressure... The I can't scoop the Lele for Cynthia because he used Shadow Stitching, so there's no abilities. There's no, no abilities right now. Um, I'm glad, Typhoon. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, no question is silly, guys. Not a single question is silly. I'm always happy to answer. Sometimes I miss things. Um, because, because I'm focusing on the game, uh... So, if I don't respond to you, feel free to send the question again. Um, I mean, sometimes I miss things in the game because I'm answering the chat. So, if I misplay and stuff, I hope you... Like, I know you guys are more understandable because I do misplay a lot on stream because it's a lot of things happening at once. <laughs> like, some people actually ask me, like, how are you... How do you do well at tournaments when you misplay so much on stream? And it's... The genuine answer is... Um, when I'm playing at a tournament, I'm 100% focused on uh, playing the actual game, and that's the only thing I have to worry about. Whereas on stream, it's uh, speaking fluently, or as best, as fluently as I can, um, being interesting to a certain degree, um, etc. Okay, so my opponent gets a knockout on the Latios with the Greninja break. Um, Okay, we top deck the DC, so now as long as we get a um, as long as we get a Greninja GX, we should be good here because we do knock out this Greninja. And the reason I played that super scoop up was simply to increase our chances to get a Greninja GX. Ah, oh, which we whiffed. Darn. Okay, so no Greninja GX for us this turn. That's really bad. Um, I really would like my opponent to knock out my Froki, though it's not very likely. Um, hopefully the Frogadier is safe though. As long as the Frogadier is safe, we should be good here. Um, so I'll just pass. Um, what is the best deck in the format right now? I think it's way too early to tell. Um, but it's looking like Malamar. Malamar... Um, had a big presence and did well this weekend. So, <sighs> um, Aquapatch onto Froki? No, uh, better on the Froki. Like I have, basically all I have all my eggs in one basket right now. But this turn we lost. Ah, and also we lost the DC. Okay, we're in trouble now. We are in genuine trouble here. We are in genuine, genuine trouble. <sighs> uh, Pokemon Cast? No, it's actually the regular Necrozma, the psychic type Necrozma that's been running around. Oh, missing that previous turn was really, really bad. Really, really, really bad. Uh, do I like B String in Malamar Ultra Necrozma? Yeah. Um, tomorrow's video actually showcases my. My latest Malamar list, and I did have B string at a two count. Um, yeah, Greninja lists have not been running Guzma for a long time now. And hello, Gimosabi, thanks so much for being here. Um, so, yeah, Pokemon Cast, if you hang around for a little bit more, I will be showcasing the, um, the Malamar list that has been doing really well lately. And ugh. okay, we're generally in a lot of trouble now. We need a huge Sycamore here. We need a Floatstone, we need a Greninja GX, and we need an Aqua Patch. Um, I guess the Super Scoop Up kind of works as a Floatstone, so we need another Heads here. Awesome, okay. Oh no, I did it. Uh, I didn't Aqua Patch before I played the Super Scoop Up. <laughs> oh gosh. I actually did that. Oh, so silly, I keep doing it. I keep doing things in the wrong order. I keep doing things in the wrong order. Why, Pablo, why? Yeah, ugh. We would be so much better if I had led with the Latios and pressured, and then um, I could knock out this Greninja this turn. Just concede. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this one. You know, it's like decently-ish close. <sighs> that was so dumb. 
I'm sorry, you guys. I was actually really dumb. <laughs> okay, we're gonna evil soda. <laughs> I need M and M's. Maybe, maybe. Ah, that was so silly, though. <laughs> Sam is working right now, otherwise I would. But he's doing some work. He'll be on uh, later. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this one. I don't think we are winning this one. Yeah, I'm gonna concede. Um, too many misplays on my part for that one. So it'll be a loss, although certainly could have been a win if I had not misplayed that one as badly. Oh well. Um, so yeah, my bad guys, I was... That happens. <laughs> that happens. And Rafa, thank you so much for the bits. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. I'll win the next one because of that. I'm gonna not misplay once because of that. I'm gonna think things through, I'm gonna play a little bit more slowly to make sure that I don't miss anything. <laughs> and yeah, I'm being <laughs> I still I still need to edit that out uh, from the video. I haven't gotten the gotten the uh, gotten the time to do that. The better ninja deck one. I mean potentially, potentially. Um <laughs> and yep. Yeah. You were right, Jedi. Someone, Rafa, came out of nowhere, as he said, with the extra pits to make sure he has first place. Okay, so we have the turn one Bridget. However, um, however, our hand um, doesn't have a follow-up supporter, so I might not be able to afford to turn one Bridget. I do have the Floatstone, I have the DC for Ladio, so... My play might be to Ultra Wolf for Aladios and then Lele for a Sycamore. That might actually be my play here. Um, because I got the... No. Okay. I mean, I could Ultra Wolf for... I could Lele for Cynthia. Definitely getting rid of the water. So which card is more important to keep? The Kuzma or the Ultra Wolf? I'm going to say the Kuzma. It's more important to keep alive in the deck than the Ultra Wolf, so... And we know we're up against Boswell, which is really, really good. <laughs> so we're gonna Floatstone here, we're gonna DC here, and then we're gonna Lele for Cynthia just to keep the Kuzma alive in the deck. <laughs> and then, yeah, the White Snake is gonna come out of nowhere as well. <laughs> uh, Rafa, you can now see the placement on the screen. Can you not see it? Like, next to my opponent's avatar all the way over there in the other corner you are currently in first place yeah you are in first place with 500 bits then type moon is in second place with 300 and the white snake is in third place with 200 and then we have tama drummer in fourth with 100 and jedi in fifth with 97. so cynthia uh, does not find us more froggies but that's fine I'm gonna go ahead and retreat and I shall pass. So yeah, all the way, all the way over there, guys. That's where you guys can see uh, the current bit race. And hello, Tiger Sword. Thank you so much for being here. We see a straight up Sycamore by my opponent, losing an Octillery, a Kuzma, a string and two basic fighting, which is actually pretty nice. Um, Bone, thank you so much. Hello, all the way up to Italy. Thank you so much for the kind words. And. Type Moon 93 coming through with 300, <laughs> 300 more bits. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, definitely that your screen will now say uh, that you're in first place, Type Moon. And Rafa immediately <laughs> sends another 200. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, so yeah, uh, now we're back to second place, um, <laughs> Type Moon. But thank you guys both so much. For the bits very very kind of you um okay so let's start off with a timer ball right just one heads is fine um just one heads we got that's fine froggy here to evolve that froggy and then i'm not sure if the right play here is to bridget or end 
Um, Kimo Sabi, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so, so much. That's also very welcome. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you for subscribing. Um, okay, so I definitely want to play the two damage counters. Um, if I find... Okay, this is the thing. If I find a choice band, the two damage counters on Boswell could be really good. Um, so that's what I'm going to go for. Then I'm going to bench the Froki because now I really want to find a choice band. I'm going to go ahead and splash here and then I'm going to end, not Cynthia. Even though I help my opponent, um, I'm assuming he had an Octillery in his hand anyways. And then maybe we take that away. And then we did not find the, um, the choice band. Um... But 80 damage on the Boswell is actually pretty relevant because now Greninja GX actually takes out Boswell. Um, <laughs> hello Sam, thanks so much for hanging out live with me on Twitch and live with me at my house as well. <laughs> Sam is here. Uh, so everyone everyone on chat, pressure Sam once again to subscribe with Twitch Prime. He's on his computer right now. He could actually do it. Like, He could actually figure out how to do it. He's been talking about it for so long and he has yet to do it. He doesn't know his Amazon password, apparently. If only there was a way to recover passwords, right, guys? If only there was a way. <laughs> his girlfriend owns the account. Yeah, I can see I can see that being true. Um, is that three B-strings discarded? Yeah, that's three B-strings discarded. So now my opponent is going to rely on elixirs 100%. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Tama Drummer. Thank you so much. And Big Tuna, thank you so much for the two bits. Thank you so much. Um, Rabayodi, do I get many League Cups and competitions in Mexico? No. Um, the special event that happened this weekend was actually a first big event in Mexico, which is honestly really sad. And then, um, the... Okay, the 30 is definitely going to the Octillery. And then... And then the 20 goes where? The 20 goes to the other puzzle, I think. Um, and then we had a leak up the day after. We usually get between four or five leak ups in Mexico City. So it's not that many. It's not a few, but it's not that many either. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ultra ball away. I feel like the super scoop up. And the other water. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tama Drummer. It's very kind of you. Hello, Injusta God. Thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, you got a job offer in Mexico. That's nice. Um, yeah, I mean, you would definitely not need to stop. And Jedi, thank you so much for the extra bit. So much action happening, guys. So much action happening. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so the, 30, the three damage counters will go to the Octillery. So I can pick that off with another Greninja GX. And then the DC here... Um, I could, huh, I could Kuzma, no, N seems better here, and I could return the Greninja if I fear a retaliation one hit KO here. Although with three B-strings in the discard battle, I don't think that's actually going to be very viable for my opponent, so I could maybe wait a turn. I'm just going to haste slash for the knockout, and I'm not going to return the Greninja GX. It seems a little bit risky, but I don't think my opponent will be able to do it he would need well he needs to hit an elixir right that's all he needs which is not a stretch but if i had a sycamore maybe because i don't have a sycamore i don't think i can afford to do this um now we have a sycamore okay but i had no idea i was gonna get a sycamore off of the prizes um how big was the special event not very big there were only 48 people and jedi thank you so much for the extra 45 bits. Posi positioning yourself in a solid third place now. Thank you so much. Um, you wanted to make a boss deck, but you're like, eh. Yeah, with so much Malamar, um, Buzzle is, is interesting right now. Um, it's like, it's really good, but it's also hard countered. All of his babies are going hungry and you won't sub him. <laughs> Yeah, the special event was 48 people, I believe. Um, okay, so my opponent only attacked for a little bit. Tama Drummer, thank you so much for the 72 bits as well. Very kind of you. Um, okay, so uh, if I had an Aqua Patch, this would be an incredible hand. But okay, 
Let's bench the Froakie. Let's evolve this Frogadier. Wait, what? Oh, 60, yeah. Where did I place the 20? Oh, here. I placed the 20 here. Um, so where do the other 20 go? 110, 111. Okay, the 20 here probably doesn't matter. So I think I'm going to target down the other Remoraid for now. Um, that looks okay. And then I could attack with Lele. No, I'm going to attack with Greninja. Never mind. Um, I'm going to DC here. And then I'm going to Brooklet just to check. Okay. I don't think I can Sigma away this hand. Uh, I think I have to actually. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I have Aqua Patches. So this is fine. This is fine. No Aqua Patches yet. And Sam's Toys. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. There we go, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sam Stoy is just taking on rank one. Thank you so much. The legend Sam Chen. And he's right next to me, too. Um, where do I think Espion Garb is positioned now? Um, Espion Garb, I think it's solid. It's just the fact that Dunwings, a part of Dunwings can run you over is a really difficult. <laughs> Can't be rank one in TCG. <laughs> sure you can, Sam. Sure you can. You're you're closing in on Azul. Sure you can. Okay, so I'm gonna evolve. <laughs> I get distracted, guys. Just win worlds. Um, I'm gonna knock out the Octillery here, which is really nice. I'll get a price card. And Rafa, thank you so much for the bits. Just saying, nope. I'm gonna have first place. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much for the extra bits. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Sam just needs to win internet. So that's exactly what he needs to do. Uh, okay, I'll take away the what? Not the float. Well, the floatstone could be important. Floatstone and field blower seems. I mean, for floatstone and brooklet, I think. Mod Sam. I'd be very scared to make Sam Chen a, a moderator for my channel. I'd be very scared about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hate slash and I am actually going to return Greninja now to prevent the two prizes um, I'm gonna promote the Froggy. That seems like the least or the more expendable card um, <laughs> Ooh, And we have a we have a threat from Sam that he's coming after Rafa and yes bird boy. This is straight frogs is Oryx going to stay on top of Expanded? Uh, I think uh, Buzzle might have something to say about that. I generally think Buzzle might have something to say about that. And okay, so we see uh, my opponent Guzma to knock out the Frogadier, which is understandable. Um, because that was my only threat, potentially. Um, just one price card though, which is huge. And then if I get a DCE, I can knock out with Lele and I won't have to rely on Aqua Patches. Um, I do top deck the Aqua Patch, which is awesome. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then I think I'm just gonna have to stick over here. Guzma seem less and less needed in this. I'm gonna go ahead and Brooklet for the Froakie to thin a little bit. And we do have two TCs, 23 cards left. Um, so I'm saying I shouldn't have shuffled the Greninja. I guess that, uh, that way I could have uh, if he knocks out the active, then I had the other Greninja powered up, which makes sense. Uh, makes sense to keep the energy on board, I agree. I think I'm very far ahead at this point, though. Um, and there's the DCs, so we are completely fine here. Completely, completely fine. I'm going to get rid of the Floatstone once again, and then the Choice Band, we never know. And 80 damage is enough to take this knockout. What would, you, what would I change about the deck? Definitely add, add at least one uh, recovery card, such as um, Rescue Stretcher or maybe even Super Odd, but definitely Rescue Stretcher. Um, Greninja GX is so silly. <laughs> if Expanded's gonna be Zorobus, should we just play Garp Variants with Parallel? I mean, maybe, but you need you need more than uh, Trash Challenge to attack with, because... Um, because Lycan Rock is a thing. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, so all we see is um, an N and then a jet punch. So I could try to save this rogue. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, important at all. I'll just commit to attacking this puzzle for as much as I can. And then we have some things on the bench. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess you guys can ask questions in the chat and Sam's answering whilst he's on his computer. Elixir is pretty busted, yes. Elixir is pretty busted. Um, when is the real question? When what? Oh, when, yeah. Okay, so extra damage on the Lele, knockout on the Froki, that's completely fine. Uh, we have a lot of good cards that we can top deck here. Sycomore is definitely one of the best ones that we have. And that will be the game, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna Aqua Patch, and there's the victory. So, two victories for Greninja GX with Latios. Um, oh, this was actually just pure puzzle, right? No. No Lycan Rock. Um, so yeah. We beat Ultra Necrozma and we beat Boswell with Greninja Latios. Um, so not bad for the deck. Um, Sam played this deck this weekend and he said the games were definitely um, very differentiated between when you do start Bridget and when you don't start Bridget. And then if I hadn't misplayed against the Greninja, it might have been three straight wins for Greninja GX. So is this the best version of Greninja GX? Probably. Um, I think I personally don't like the Super Scoop Ups. I feel like they're very unreliable. So I would take out the three Super Scoop Ups and add in a third Float Stone. Um, probably a one Rescue Stretcher and then maybe an extra Energy, maybe an extra Supporter. Uh, maybe an extra Latios actually. An extra Latios doesn't sound half bad. Um, to it reduces the chances of starting Lele and increases the chances of starting Latios. And so guys, um, <laughs> so guys, um, yeah. Uh, Tama drummer Sam's coming on now, so I will be making a quick cut, guys. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back with the Malamar Necrozma deck. Okay, so don't go anywhere. I will be right back. And Sam Chen will be with me as well. Don't go anywhere. Uh, be right back. <laughs> 